All righty. The printer is done. Job is printed. And that's the print. Now I think, you know, for most people, you'd want war, you would want to turn on both channels of white there for that print to get it more white and be stronger. Uh, we can see, you know, we can see from previous previous prints that have been printed on this the printer that if you turn on both channels of white, you definitely can see it's a brilliant white. It's a popping, nice looking white ink that's prints out of there. I'll turn over the uh, material and I'll make it print um, just because I'm not truthfully satisfied with the um, the white there. Um, the other thing you'll see is we are lined up right there by putting that material on that square like we did. We're lined up. Turn on the media in there, scan the media, push the up arrow key, for, so it's going to scan it. Come over here to the job, open up the job, I can just skip to the fourth tab, open up white and varnish, and turn on both channels of white, click OK, send that job again. And it'll print out the job with both channels of white. So we'll have more you know, stronger white ink showing up. Here it goes. It's going to print that. While it's printing that, I'm going to bring the. Um, camera over here and see if you can be able to see me I'm going to design I'm going to open up the um, the design software here and uh, get ourselves a job we're going to print on that white substrate white substrate so we'll be in CMYK so I'll click on job and you go out there and find whatever image you're looking for so, you know, my particular thing, maybe I want to go out and find a, um, find a different image. So I go into my hard drive and um, dig and find it. So maybe let's go and print this American. Well, let's print, let's print the Eiffel Tower out. Click OK or add rather. Open up the Eiffel Tower. Oh, the Eiffel Tower is a big image, so really need it. You know, we've got a, our substrate. I'll go grab the substrate. The media, that's what they call substrate. The media is only going to be about, it's like six inches by six inches. So I'm going to say, let's just go four by four again, or four by whatever. So I'm going to uh, make it four inches wide and it's about six inches tall that's okay and then we're going to rotate the image around so we're going to rotate the image around Let's click around this part right here to rotate turn it up straight up okay well I got it straight up now now all I got to do is go to the third tab and I'm going to change that profile there to 72720 just to make it print faster. Color mode, CMYK. That's exactly what I want. Don't have to do anything. Leave it alone. Send it just like that. So I'm going to click um, OK and I'm going to have it ready because I'm going to change substrates here. So we open up the screen, open up the uh, cover and we've got a 
we printed out this image. Now, the other thing about this image is, as I said, it was white, um, not very opaque. I am also realizing that this is a print of a page. I took a picture of a page, so it does have some color. The color that's printed out is some brownish gray there. That's, um, that's why it's actually dull. So I can't make that whiter unless I change colors in some kind of graphic design software. Let's put this material on the sub the uh, platen here. Line it up to the corner. Open up our front cover. Push the leaves the lever there. Push the platen back to get to where the light the. Uh, laser would see it if it was too if the material was too high there then it would kick off the red light if it's right on then we got we could we're good to go if it's too low the printer now here is one thing if the material is the materials too low the bed was too low then we could be too far away from the material and we could be doing overspray we want to make sure our, we want to make sure that we before we start printing now, on the first copy of this material, so if we had like a hundred of these, hundred of this material to print, we wouldn't have to do it for every single one of them, just the first of that material. You can put our lever back up once we're ready done there. Close the front door, close the top. Scan the material by pushing the up arrow key. Machine goes through and it's scanning the whole bed, making sure nothing was high. Come back over to the rip and we highlight the file that we want to print and then we click send and the file will process and then it will start printing. After processes it will start printing. It won't take too long for that to print, maybe another minute. But while we're, while we're um, waiting for it to finish printing, let's open up and let me tell you a couple of uh, settings in here that are really helpful to know about. Those settings would be re related to white and varnish. So for white, if we're wanting to print, let's say we want to print this, this image or let me open up the Eiffel Tower, which has got color to it. If I wanted to print white ink up under there, up under the image. Once again, we go to the third tab, we choose a profile, and then we come down to CMYK, and I want to put, remember I said I want to put white now, white. I know we printed this in color, but now I'm using this as, as an example so that we see a color image. Maybe it's easier to understand the white. Go down here to the bottom where it says white and varnish, WWV1, V2, click on variable dot, click on that. Then I go to the fourth tab, white and varnish options. I left click on that. And here I have my choices for white and varnish. So white, we want to print it under color, which means wherever there's color in the image yet, Anywhere where there's color, there we go, move around. Anywhere where there's color in the image, it would put white ink under there. In the case of the clouds here, 
may not see that at all. So in this particular image where there's, you know, it may not see there's any one percent, it may not be one percent of any color there. So for it to print that, don't expect, if we do under color, don't necessarily expect white ink to be showing up everywhere there's clouds there. It would show up just where there's anything, I mean, anything that goes to zero, it's not going to print white ink there for an under color option. If I say fill color, that means I'm going to put white ink in the image everywhere and fill in the color, I'm going to fill in the color there for white ink also. If I have substrate, that means it's going to print all under the whole box of a um, image. I would print a white, white up under everything. So invisible box there that shows up with images, it would also print white ink up under, you know, with that. That's where it's going to print it. And variable under color is, depending on the percentage of the color, is to how much white ink prints. So if you printed and you're printing um, a gray and a black and a yellow and a red, well, the yellow is going to get less white because that's got lower number to it. Where a black is going to get, say, 100% white ink under it, and maybe gray would get 80% of white ink under it. So it's not going to be 100% output of white ink with the variable under color. It would only be depending on the color um, setting there. Fill substrate would print white ink um, in the places of, you know, fill up the whole substrate there for you. But the main ones 